Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on another video. In today's video, I am going to be giving you, as you can already see by the title, my top cheap health eating tips or my top tips for eating healthily on the cheap. Now, this is a topic that I'm super excited to tell you about because I so used to be one of those people who believed that healthy eating had to be really expensive, that, you know, healthy food was only reserved for the rich and bougie. Do not worry, there is hope for those of us who are cheap like me. You do not need to spend all your dollar, all your money, all your hard-earned cash on healthy food. And I'm about to tell you seven tips which will really help you to practically eat healthily and live a healthy lifestyle on a budget. You don't need to be some Bill Gates in order to afford healthy food, even though it can feel that way. If you like this video, please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up, share it with a friend, and click subscribe so you never miss a video. New video every day of September. And don't forget to join me on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook too. Check out my blog for more recipes and stories stories and just more of your gal sass. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Tip number one is to choose where you shop wisely. If you are shopping at weight shows and telling me that healthy food is expensive, remove yourself. If you are shopping uh, I don't know, Marks and Spencers and telling me that food is expensive. Remove yourself. Now I'm saying this as a British person, so I know a lot of you are from the US, so whatever like high quality bougie supermarkets you have over there, just let it go, let it go. You need to be open-minded about trying out new supermarkets and seeing what's cheapest. And now that is not always a stationary thing. That can change as businesses change. Back in the day for me, Tesco used to be super cheap, but as Tesco has kind of taken like a literal dominance in the UK in terms of there's one every corner, they've boosted their prices a little bit. I don't know if you all have noticed, but as the daughter of Nigerian parents, I've noticed that Tesco is not as cheap as it used to be. And so I changed. I started shopping at places like Aldi, Lidl, Asda is still quite cheap. And the shopping experience in cheaper supermarkets is not necessarily as bad as you might think it was. The price difference that shopping at a cheaper supermarket can make for your weekly food shop is staggering. I notice the difference at checkout when I've done my weekly food Food shop at Asda or Aldi compared to when I do it at I never do it at weight shows let's be honest but I would notice the difference <laughs> but even compared to when I do it at Tesco I notice the difference like a fiver here and there a tenner here and there depending on how big the food shop is but if you're looking to save coin choose your supermarket wisely and if you know of any cheaper places let me know in the comments because your girl will be checking them out okay okay number two price per kg. Now, when you're shopping, it can be really easy to look at the price of say two chicken fillets for three pounds and then see the five chicken fillets for five pounds and assume that the two chicken fillets are cheaper. Whereas actually, when you look at the price per kg, the five chicken fillets are much cheaper. So I encourage you to look not just at the cost of something, but the price per kg, because you are not like, you're not taking everything home to eat immediately. This is food that's gonna last you for a little while. So actually what you want is more value for your money. So always check the price per kg, not the individual cost of something. Number three, cook in bulk. Now this is linked in again to price per kg, um, and I'll explain it more as we get into this point, but cooking in bulk will save you money so, so much. Now I don't mean crazy meal preps. I know that I'm like a big fan of meal preps, but that's not necessarily what I mean. I just mean like cook in bulk generally. Um, so growing up in a family of seven, this was something that was really drilled into me. We did not buy in small measures. My mum had seven people to feed in the family, so our food shops meant business. The more that you buy of something, the cheaper per quantity that it generally is. So if you are buying a large pack, a multi-pack, it tends to come down in price per kg. So buying more than you need, even as a single person. So it's just me in this flat. Um, I only feed myself, no babies, no no children to feed at the moment. Um, I still buy in bulk. I still buy multi-packs. I still buy family packs because it's just cheaper. It's like it's more expensive to live alone or to travel alone. Eating alone is also more expensive too. So you can buy in bulk and cook in bulk and that way you will save money. To. Number four is to preserve your food. Invest in a freezer. So when you're buying lots of vegetables and all these healthy foods, they can feel really labile uh, when they go off in your fridge and that can just be a waste of money. So I highly recommend that you invest in a freezer and don't be afraid to use it. So as a random example, if you've been trying to save money and following the other tips and you've bought a large pack of, say, 
onions for example and now you're only cooking for one so you only need half an onion and you're scared the rest are going to go off slice them all up at the same time and throw them in the freezer that way you only have to cry once and that way the rest are preserved so you can use them later and you won't be wasting stuff so invest in a freezer preserve your healthy food preserve your healthy meals so then you can be doing the other tips that i mentioned before number five is a super important tip and probably shouldn't have been number five but i apologize thank you for sticking with me so far uh is don't be a brand snob do not be a brand snob. Don't be afraid of using Asda value, Tesco value, whatever the cheapest brand is. Because it's almost like when people buy paracetamol and they go in the shop and they buy like the one pound paracetamol instead of the 30p paracetamol. There is no difference apart from the packaging, okay? Paracetamol is paracetamol is paracetamol. Don't be a brand snob, buy the cheaper brands. The only times you are allowed to be a brand snob is when you have tried and proven that that tastes like ass and no one should be eating that. I'm gonna be completely honest with you and tell you three things that I am a brand snob about and will continue to be a brand snob about. Gravy, never buy Tesco value gravy. Coffee. And ketchup, I personally do not scrimp on those three items. Gravy, coffee and ketchup. For me, those are the ones which I will always pay more for the brand that I love. But on a load of other things, I will happily just buy the cheapest brand. Chickpeas. You don't need the fancy one, buy whichever one's cheaper per kg. Vegetables, all this stuff, don't be a brand snob. Don't be scared of trying value brands because for a lot of things, I've actually found that I prefer the value brand. For example, I prefer Tesco hot chocolate, you know, the drinking chocolate. I honestly prefer that to Cadbury's and it's cheaper. It tastes better. So don't be afraid to try the cheaper brands. Don't be a snob, save your money. There is no, There are no rewards for looking fancy. There are no rewards for looking fancy. For example, my porridge oats. Porridge oats is porridge oats is porridge oats. I buy as to value porridge oats and I pour them in a jar and no one would ever know when someone comes around and well people rarely eat porridge when they come around but if they did come around they would have no idea that I was buying the cheap ones and instead of paying two pounds for a bag of porridge I paid 50p no one would know because I keep it in this cute little jar and no one can judge me for being cheap AF so yeah don't be a brand snob number six mainstream isn't always cheaper support your local businesses i can't say this enough because i think it's just a good thing to do as well in a world that is booming with big brands and big businesses support your neighbors support your local butchers support them and find that actually they support you very often very often small businesses are looking to attract customers and sell things at a cheaper price whether it's that you get to know the business owner and they end up giving you good deals or that they're simply just trying to attract more people to their store so they are doing rock bottom prices don't just go with what you know always try new things and scope out the competition there are so many people who want your money so don't be afraid to go below the surface, go below the mainstream and support your local businesses. I know that my friend, for example, um, my best friend Mika, who's like an Olympic bobslayer, she only buys her meat from her local butchers because they do her a great deal. And she says they are so much better quality and value than the mainstream supermarkets. So keep your eyes open, guys. Number seven, you need to hear. Please hear me when I say this. There is a difference between health and convenience. Recognize when you are being charged for convenience other than health. I'm gonna say that again. Recognize when you are being charged for convenience rather than health. When you're sat there looking at five donuts for a pound versus sliced watermelon for two pounds, and you're thinking, why is the healthy option so much more expensive? Recognize that what you're being charged for there is having some perfectly portioned, perfectly sliced watermelon that you can conveniently eat as you walk down the road and throw away. Actually, if you compared the cost of buying a whole large watermelon, slicing it up yourself, putting it in a container and taking it to work or walking down the street or whatever you want to eat it to, the prices would be more comparable. You might even find that the watermelon ends up being cheaper because you have such a massive quantity that you get to eat. I think a lot of the time we see convenient healthy food and we assume that the healthy food is what is more expensive. There is a cost to convenience and that is the cost that you are paying when you're buying these ready-made put together healthy snacks. And I encourage you to recognize that it's the convenience that you're paying for there, not the actual health of the food. If you want to buy those healthy foods, you can buy them, prepare them yourself, and it will be so much cheaper. And thereby it will do away with the excuse of, oh, but it was cheaper to buy a chocolate bar, because actually if you had prepared in advance, then it would have been cheaper. Now, if you're thinking, Sarah, this all sounds like a lot of effort. I don't want to be buying watermelon and cutting them up and slicing them and taking them with me. I don't want to be buying in bulk. I don't want to be shopping around. Then that's the answer to your question, really. It's not that healthy eating is expensive, it's that healthy eating takes a little bit more effort. And I would agree with you on that. It does take a little bit of effort 
effort to be able to eat healthily at a reasonable price. However, I encourage you to consider the long-term effects of healthy eating on your purse. I'm not even talking about long-term health, I'm talking about on your purse. You know what costs more than a Starbucks salad? Treating type 2 diabetes. You know what costs more than ready sliced watermelon? treating heart disease. It is a lot less effort to go for a run today than to struggle with cardiovascular disease in the future. Now I'm not saying, you know, that all these things will guarantee that you never have to struggle with health issues, but research has proven that living a healthy lifestyle can really help to prevent these lifestyle diseases like diabetes, heart disease, obesity, and all the other complexities that come with it. When you're saying that healthy eating is expensive, can I please, as a medical professional, remind you how much more expensive it is to suffer the consequences of not looking after your body. Your body is a temple. It is such a blessing. It is the spaceship through which you experience everything in life, through which we see, taste, touch, hug our loved ones. Everything that we have in life is filtered through this here body. I highly encourage you to take the time to look after and care for your body because it is so worth it in the long term. Healthy food has a price, but good health has no price. And I feel like I'm going into a whole nother level of like emotional speech, so I'm just gonna stop there. But thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment letting me know your top tip for eating healthily on a budget. Send this video to a friend and I will see you in my next video. Thanks so much guys, bye.